I am Amy Sadler with Amy Sadler Designs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. This is my first YouTube video, so let me know what you think in the comments. Here I have gotten some travertine and some white and cream ceramic tiles at the Habitat for Humanity Restore. And these tiles are about 15 to 25 cents each. Um, what you see me using there is Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. And the reason I'm using Dishwasher Safe is because I am going to be using these as trivets. Not that I will be putting them in the dishwasher, but I will be wiping them off from time to time, I'm sure, as I'll use them in my kitchen. The strawberry pattern there, that's for my daughter-in-law. She loves um, strawberry vintage um, ceramics in her kitchen, so I'm going to make those for her. And then I have tons of napkins, so I am trying to decide which ones I want to use on which tiles. And I knew the little birdhouse was adorable, I love the little rabbit, but I'm not quite sure on the rest. So definitely going to go with the strawberries for Kennedy. By the way, I have all of these napkins because of Miss Tracy Creates. Um, and her napkin club is so much fun. She sends napkins in the mail every month and it's an amazing club to be in. So there you saw me taking the two ply um, off of the back of the three ply napkin. And then I am cutting the napkin. It comes in four squares, which happen to be exactly the size of my tiles. So my six by six napkins fit perfect on my six by six tiles. And I had to pour the Mod Podge out on a plate because uh, my, my brush didn't fit down in. Here I am brushing on the Mod Podge on my white ceramic tile. This is a smooth tile with no texture and I just want to make sure that I don't have any major like brush strokes or drips of Mod Podge because that will show through my napkin. So once I get it coated, then I'm just going to lay my napkin down. I put this in the middle at first and I should have started on this side. I grabbed my Ziploc baggie just because my hands had a little Mod Podge on them and I didn't want to tear my napkin so I used a Ziploc baggie over my hand to smooth it out. And then I'm just gonna smooth it out gently and start on my next one. That was literally as easy as that and I love doing this project because it's such a high impact and such an inexpensive way to do it. This one is the lemon and lime napkin and I love this one. It's It turned out so cute and I'll show you all of these up close and personal at the end of this video and I promise you want to stick around for that because the travertine tiles turned out amazing. Here you just see me fussing with the napkin to get it as smooth as possible. However, it was really smooth. I just fuss and I need to stop. <laughs> I don't know if you can relate to that or not. It was perfect, but I kept fussing. I didn't hurt it though. Thank goodness. Okay, this travertine one. It is so cute. Both of the travertine are my favorite. I'm going to go back and probably buy the rest of the travertine tiles that they had at the habitat store restore because they turned out so cute and I want to make one for everybody I know. I have so many napkins and I'm super I'm super excited about it. I just love how they turned out. I can't wait for you to see it at the end. Um, this little birdhouse, I'm going to show you right here how I, if you just have sticky fingers, you can lick them, which I don't like to lick my fingers. I worked in banking for a long time and then I painted, so I don't like to lick my fingers, but I had a little Mod Podge, so I just pop it like that and my plies will come apart and I can tear my napkins apart really easily. So now I'm just doing the second one and I decided to do, instead of doing the little bunny, which I'll do the bunny next time, um, I decided to do this really sweet French bicycle with flowers and it's, it's probably, it might be one of the favorite things I've ever made and I've made a lot of stuff, but I love it so much. So 
super cute. What you see me doing here, I want you to be sure, if you do a travertine tile, I went back over the top while my napkin was just placed and the Mod Podge was still wet. On both of these, the Mod Podge is still wet and I went and I pounced my Mod Podge on the top to make sure that the napkin pressed down into the texture of the travertine tile and it turned out really good. I know I keep saying that, but I really like it. So that was the, the, the French floral one. This is um, when my Mod Podge was dry after about an hour, I came back in with my Zippy Sander and I just sand the edges to get any excess, any napkin that was overlapped. Um, it just sands right off and the edges are perfect when you do it this way. I barely had any let hanging over because my, my napkin and tile were the same size, but there was a little bit. But it just smoothed out perfectly with my little Zippy Sander and very little effort so oh so cute oh my goodness so oh okay I know I'm getting excited but I used holy moly from Amy Howard at home that's the color here on my little ducky chickadee chick chick that I got at the Dollar Tree I know I thought I was thinking Dollar General but I got it at the Dollar Tree wanted to give them a coat of yellow because little chicks are yellow and they're so sweet so it's just the plain um it had kind of little wood texture on it so i'm just painting on that side i let my paint dry and then i'm adding tight bond wood glue i'm teaching you a very fun way for a chippy paint finish i love this method i use it all the time you're gonna love it too you can do this with multiple colors. For this particular project, I'm doing a coat of yellow, a coat of tight bond, and another coat of the same yellow. But wait until the end when you see the up close of this paint technique. It is so cool. And the next video, I'm gonna do a multicolor um, project with this paint technique so you can see. So there it is, my, my um, tight bond had dried. I put another coat of holy moly on. Now my holy moly is dry. I'm coming back with a scraper and at a 45 degree angle, I'm just scraping that paint. I'm not giving it a ton of pressure, but I wanna make sure that I'm scraping it off. Um, anywhere that tight bond um, was high or um, had any texture at all, this will, chip it off rather than when you get a when you sand see the chips there so when you sand you get a really smooth finish oh i have a little helper she was coming to help me she's so sweet that's my daughter Gigi. so anyway this is a great way to get a chipped finish that looks really really old and that was just a wire brush i was using to smooth it all out rather than sandpaper so you can see there the texture and the chippiness so the next video look out for I'll do a multicolor of this particular finish I love it that's some yellow or some yellow some orange ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna trace his little beak and cut it out of that the edge of that orange ribbon and I'm going to I tried to do his little hair at the top but it didn't look good so I take it off but So yeah, I'm just going to trim that up and make sure that it fits where his beak goes and I'm going to glue it on with the Mod Podge. You can use Mod Podge. You can use the tight bond. I don't suggest hot glue because it'll come through if you use this kind of ribbon. It's kind of like a burlap. But So I stuck his little beak on with orange ribbon and it turned out super cute. In the end, when you see him, I um, after I tie his bow on, and I was looking at him for my after pictures, I decided that he needed a little button eye. So at the end, you'll see him with a little button for an eye. He's so cute.
he is so cute. Yeah, I was fussing with the bow again, but you know. Yeah, there I put his, I put, I just hot glued a little button eye on him. Look at that chippy finish. I'm gonna sit him up at the end and show you up close. Okay, I'm gonna show you another fun paint technique here using the extra plies of the napkins that we took apart earlier. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I got this little, um, this is from the Dollar Tree, just a little sign with the um, black and white buffalo check. And it has a little wooden frame. I thought it was so cute, but I was going to just fix it up a little bit, just take it up a notch. So I painted one coat of the Holy Moly, and while the Holy Moly is still wet, while my paint is still wet, I'm gonna crumple up one of the plies from that napkin that we discarded earlier and place it in my wet paint. And then while it's still met wet immediately, I'm going to paint it with the same color. I'm just creating texture here and it's a super fun way to add texture to a flat surface. So if you're ever thinking you're making a sign and you think it just needs a little something, just lay a little tissue paper down or an extra ply from your napkin. It There I'm just tearing off where m the wet edge is um, the napkin just tears right away exactly where it's supposed to. So I just paint up to the edge of the little square and the napkin just comes apart really easily and tears away. And then I'm just gonna go around the edge just to make sure that all of my napkin is wet and laying down with the paint. And see, there you have some texture. So it's as easy as that. And this little bunny I got, I did get at Dollar General. He was $1. And that is an adorable gingham, orange gingham tea towel that I got last year at Hobby Lobby. And I am going to use it for another project. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trace my bunny and cut him out of this orange gingham. And then I'm going to use Mod Podge to apply it, the fabric to my bunny. Now I am going to, I'm going to have to take off the hanger for this one because it was horizontal and I'm doing him vertical. So then I'm going to just tie a coordinating bow around his little neck and then hot glue him right to the center of my sign. And then he and our little chickadee match. They're best friends. This is a fun little simple project that was less than five dollars probably less than four dollars those are two little carrots carrot baggies that i got at the dollar tree they were two for a dollar and this and there's my little helper this is a wood plank from walmart that's it was a dollar 97 at the time that i bought it i'm not sure if they've gone up at all but it was less than two dollars when i bought it just a wood plank i'm taking out the um, staples from the back that were holding on the twine i'm not doing anything to it i love the way that it is just as it is so i'm going to do another um i'm gonna hot glue our little carrot baggie right in the center and then i'm gonna make a coordinating bow um, for the front of our little baggie and i'm 
doing it, um, how I did this bow was I'm just going to make my bunny ears and wrap them around each other and around the tree and through the hole and make a bow. So, and then I'm going to fuss with it because that's what I do. I fuss with things and get it just right. And I'm going to do a little dab of hot glue and put it right in the center of my carrot baggie. And <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but it's so cute. And it was so simple. Just as easy as one, two, three. And such a adorable impact. I love how it... And all three of these projects together are precious. So now I'm going to... I got these... I ordered these tulips on Amazon. And they came and I was so impressed. I'm so impressed with how they feel and look real. So I used some of the orange and yellow tulips and ugh, it turned out so cute. This project, this is an oops that we, we have it, not an oops. I'm going to use the same napkin technique and you'll see me do it here um, on this Dollar Tree sign. And I'm using the back side. I didn't want to paint over the glitter and the wording. Um, but I could have because of this tissue paper napkin technique. It would hide almost any texture on the front. So I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to lay the napkin down into my wet paint and then paint. I accidentally had two plies and didn't know it. So I'm going to peel that one away and use it on the next side. Anyway wet on wet so I lay the napkin down into wet paint and then I paint right on top of that to hold my napkin in place and anything that goes over the edge is fine it just tears away I tear it away while it's wet you can also go back over it at the end with your little zippy sander and with little to no effort and it comes perfectly smooth so no problem the reason I'm saying this was an oops is because I thought I was going to be super clever and show you a fun way to age this paint technique and in the process, you know, our little chickadee is so cute and our little bunny sign is adorable, but um, after this dries, I thought, oh, I'm going to show them how to age this finish and you know what it's you can really um, make this look super cool so I put some antique wax paint and watered it down and then I wiped it on to the yellow but in the end you'll see that it just it looks fine if first whatever you know but it didn't match with our adorable bright yellow chickadee and bunny signs so here I am painting over it with um, silver lining from Amy Howard at home, another one of my favorite white colors. And the good thing about this paint technique is that when my glaze, that brown glaze dried, I just paint right over the top. I still have all the texture and all of the details of the napkin. It's just a different color. Now I'm going to go ahead and age the white with the same brown watered down paint and give it an aged look but on white this will give it a kind of cream neutral tone so if you are more neutrals more traditional this is a really good color combo for you and then i just go around the edges with my cheesecloth one extra time and give it a little like lining and that's what you see me doing right here I just I'm gonna give a little clearly Gigi approves and yes she pulled her sleeves up and she helped me so <laughs> Let's paint this first. 
Another day we must sing it to sing and love to sing. How sweet is she? <laughs> and yes, we had Andy Griffith on in the background, and it wasn't as loud as it seemed in that little section there, but. So the lavender is 97 cents a bush at, or a bundle or, yeah, bush at Walmart. That's where I got that. And then I just had some of the taupe gingham ribbon and a taupe satin ribbon that I tied around one sprig of that lavender. And I just tied it in a knot and I hot, I put a dab of hot glue to hold the lavender and I also put a dab of hot glue on the back to hold uh, to hold the lavender in place. And then I just felt like it needed something else. So I thought it would be cute if I made it like a little pocket and added the gingham ribbon over the front. And I love the way it turned out. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I will have a video for you every week.